This is the third in a series of 11 short videos designed to help medical students and non-specialist doctors approach a patient presenting with an eye problem. This is how to test the visual acuity in a patient and be able to communicate the information gleaned to a fellow professional. Without fail, all eye examinations should start with testing the visual acuity. The conventional way is to test them on a Snellen chart such as this. The patient's eyes should be tested individually, either without spectacles at all or, if they wear glasses for the distance vision, then using their everyday distance spectacles. If the patient cannot read all the way to the bottom of the chart this way, then you should fashion a pinhole through a piece of card or use a proprietary pinhole occluder to see if the vision improves with that pinhole. So here is a patient whose right eye is being tested for visual acuity. You can see that the left eye is completely occluded with this proprietary occluder, but a piece of card is equally effective for this purpose. The patient can hold the occluder himself and sits at 6 metres or 20 feet from a Snellen chart and is instructed to read as far down the chart as he possibly can. You should use gentle encouragement just to really test them to the limits of their ability to see. The left eye is then tested in a similar manner. Say, for instance, this patient can read the third line on the chart. On this particular chart, that line carries the number 24. So the patient's visual acuity is 6 over 24. If you want to communicate this to a fellow professional, then this is what you say. On examination, the visual acuity is 6 over 24 unaided. If the patient was using their habitual distance spectacles, then you would say that on examination, the visual acuity is 6 over 24 with best correction. Next, the visual acuity is tested with a pinhole. Here we see a series of pinholes being used on this proprietary occluder, but a simple hole made in a piece of card would suffice equally to get this piece of information. Now the patient's visual acuity with a pinhole improves all the way down to the bottom line, which on this chart is a number 6, but on feet and inches charts would carry the number 20. So now you can say, on examination, the visual acuity is 6 over 24 unaided, improving to 6 over 6 with pinhole. This is the conventional wording to communicate the patient's vision to fellow medical professionals. The importance of the improvement with pinhole is that frequently this implies that all the patient needs is a pair of glasses. In the United Kingdom, this service is provided by a high street optician and the patient does not require the services of a hospital eye specialist. The next video is the start of how to examine a patient's eye from front to back, most of which does not require the use of an ophthalmoscope to perform fundoscopy.